today I'm going to show you how to combine Angry IP Scanner with TS Grinder. You might be saying, what is TS Grinder? Well, TS Grinder is a brute forcer. Now you might be saying, well, what's that brute forcer? Brute forcer is basically just something that types in the passwords for you when you're trying to remotely connect to someone's computer. Okay, first what you're going to do, after you've already had IP scan, or Angry IP Scanner, you're going to open up your internet browser, save that. It's going to be a zip folder. You're going to save it onto your desktop. So now once it's on your desktop, you should you should unzip it and extract it. And then you should, then what I want you to do, I want you to put it in my computer and drag it out into the C drive. My folder is named TSNoop just so it's easier to type in. Okay, now you're going to have to combine that with Angry IP Scanner. Okay, just scan any random port, just one. Or I mean, uh, IP. Right click it. You're going to press Open Computer. You're going to go into Configure. Now in here, this is what I want you to type in. That's the name of the thing. The menu item. It's title. Then you're going to, this is the execution string, which is basically what the command prompt tells it to do. So, ts.exe, that's the name of the, my program that I renamed it. And then, dash w, space, dict, which is your dictionary. And then, space, dash u, which is the username you want to use. And then, owner, because owner is the default on Windows XP's. And most computers that you find are Windows XP's and percent %s, which is basically the IP that it's going to use. And then this is where the directory is, so if you save yours as tsnew and you put it in the C drive, you should just use capital C colon backslash tsnew backslash and keep it as a command line prompt. Okay, now close that. Now you're just going to scan a port, I mean uh, an IP, a range, rather. that scan and remember you want to select your ports beforehand 3389 because that's the remote desktop port. Okay it looks like I've hit a dead zone I'm just gonna kill this. Um there was one I had earlier I'll just check it. So just type in the range, and sometimes you'll get lucky, sometimes you won't. Don't be discouraged if you don't get any open ports like I just did. But that scan should take about 30 seconds, if you, if you have a decent computer. Maybe a minute. Because it's only... Right now I'm only scanning 155 IP addresses for one port. That shouldn't take very long. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to tell you, remember, how many ports? Three. Okay, that's pretty good for 155. That's actually really good. Now you're going to look, and there they are. Okay. You're just going to right-click, open computer, and see this is the TS Grinder. That's how you're going to open it. You're going to click that. And see, that's the command line you typed in. So now it's going to open it via remote desktop, and it's going to try to crack through. This is kind of a weird computer, but I'll recommend that some since some computers don't have a password, after it's typed an owner, you're just going to
quick login. So then maybe if it doesn't have a password, then you're in. Okay, now once this is finished scanning, rather brute forcing rather, then you're just gonna close the command line, the command prompt, and then you're done. Okay, so good luck with brute forcing your way onto other people's computers. Till next time, bye.